Very. Did you see the very small teaser they they released with uh, Zavathun? No. Is it good? I mean, it's very small. You literally see her from behind walking into a pool of water with a bunch of dead hive in it, and then you can hear who, what the voice is going to sound like for her. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm excited. I think one of the few things that Hollywood does not do a good job at is making female villains or anti-heroes, and I think they're doing a really good job with her setup. Cool. Yeah, I, Hollywood, in my mind, can't get, at least lately, can't get female villains or heroes, right? And it's just like... <sighs> Because they always have to add some sort of underlying reason that they're bad. Together, it's like, no, just make one. him be a fucking bitch. Like, why do we have to have, like, oh, my father didn't hug me enough and this is why I'm actually mean. It's like, no. <laughs> make him a fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> make him just... be like, you know what, you're all fucking weak and stupid and that's why I'm doing this. Because <laughs> <Zone B lost. laughs> like, they did that with uh, Hella in, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Thor, Ragnarok. They gave I've her a reason enough. to be such a bitch. I'm like, no, make her just a bitch. Alright? <laughs> like, don't give her a reason to. Sometimes you need a, a clear villain with no, uh, murky water, you know? Yeah. Just needs to be a villain. This war is for territory. Um, One that you have you win. seen Fight the another. Yellowstone series at all? Uh, no, but I know about Yellowstone. Yeah, with Kevin Costner. Plays a rancher. Yeah. And his family. The female character, not only is she like a knockout. I've been a big fan of her since True Detectives. But, uh, I mean, she's just a badass. <laughs> I mean, she's not supposed to be a villain, but she does villain stuff. So she's like an anti-hero? Oh, yeah, heavily on the anti. <laughs> well, I mean, for example, anti-heroes are like Deadpool. Oh, I know. They but, do I mean, shitty sh stuff. Oh, yeah. But she, like, relishes in it a little more than an anti-hero might. <laughs> She's well, then that would just be a villain. Uh, a villain. <laughs> yeah. like, if you're relishing in the it. pain. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, anti-heroes can like what they do, but, like, if you're relishing in killing people and doing bad shit, then that's just a villain. Yeah, but she doesn't kill anybody, but she's just ruthless. Ruthless. So if you like one example of a good female villain, she's a good one. She was good that's down. good. I, I just, like I said, that Hollywood is... Leaning too hard on the like all women good, all men stupid kind of thing. It's just like, come on, just make a bad, a yeah. bad bitch. Like you don't need to make every single one of them. And I keep bringing it up, but I really hated what the new Star Wars did with Ray. I think they made her the weakest, uh, such a weak character. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, she was handed everything, and she just learned, like, she just knew, was good at everything she did. There was really no struggle. And any struggle she had was very easily figured out, and there was really no... She doesn't really lose either in it. She just is good at everything she attempts, and it's just like, that's not good writing for a hero. Don't she lose her parents? She it, no, she lost her parents before the, even the first one started. Oh, well, so we don't even they, know that struggle. Weren't there all we see is the character? or was that a flashback? No, she was. She was on. That was a flashback. She's oh, on her okay. own. So before the character's even established, she's already a, a badass survivalist. We don't get to see any of the struggle there. And so that's just one of my biggest gripes with her is she just is good at everything she takes yeah. out kylo her first try who had all these years of training and you know he's probably killed a bunch of people and fought a bunch of people and fought in a bunch of battles she's like here's my first time with a lightsaber he <laughs> he and then just beats the shit out of him it's like how so not only did they immediately make her uh 
just super overpowered, they made the villain have no teeth. And so you, like, there was no conflict, there was no tension when they fought or would meet because you knew that she, like, she beat the snot out on the first time she even held a lightsaber. How is she ever going to lose ever again, you know? So it's lazy In my writing. Mind, it's not necessarily lazy writing. They just want, like, oh, she's a girl, and we need to be, like, a strong female lead. And so their way of making strong female lead is no adversary, no uh, challenge, especially from a male character, and, you know, like, stuff like that. And it's just, like, that's not how, making a strong character. All right. Like, think about if you were to watch Superman. All right? And Superman decides that instead of fighting, um, you know, Doomsday or something like that, something that you know matches his strength, I'm going to fight Lex Luthor. But Lex Luthor as Lex Luthor, like, on the streets, a normal <laughs> human. And it's just like there's no there's no tension because you know he just, can just beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And so it, that's what I'm saying is lazy writing. It, it's like when you – it's clear that this person is going to win, clear that they can just do it on the first try. And the fact that she learns force healing without even – there's not even any practice – she just does something that no other Jedi was able to do, just like it's nothing. Or like Wonder Woman. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, even in the first Wonder Woman movie, there was struggle. And that yeah. was a good female character because I mean, the there night, was yeah. struggle. The 1980s. But, but, the, but the, yeah, the new one is just, that's what I'm talking about. There was, she's heard... just like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. It's like, okay. <laughs> that scene in the invisible plane, one she's never done before. She's like, yeah, I heard of yep. that it could be possible. And she just like did that's, it. That's what I'm saying. And the fact that <laughs> Ray, who didn't even know anything about force suggestion, she heard it from some dude. Her first try, she Control. just immediately succeeds against those guards. <laughs> it's like, no, like, it's okay to have, because it's okay to have failure as long as they overcome it. That's the hero's journey. That's why um, the Iliad or the Odyssey no is such a good no classic example Take of a, a true epic is because it's the hero's journey. He's struggling. He's well, struggling sure, yeah. to get home. He's failing and succeeding, and he's growing as a character. But when you have Rey, who's already already as good as she's going to get and there's no growth then it's boring have you ever seen the first aliens movie first like alien oh yeah of course so yeah. remember how R ripley she goes from being pretty good character already kind of badass but she goes from that, that fear, but she progresses and gets better and better. And then eventually in the second one, she gets her, to her apex of just badassery. But she did just wasn't mowing down aliens right away. She actually had yeah. to like hide, and she was afraid and everything else. And then eventually she just becomes a badass. That's the hero's journey. That is a very well put together character. Zone A lost. Enemy has advantage. And again, then that's why I didn't lead, like the but the, match isn't the newest, uh, you know, newest trilogy is just because there was no hero's journey. It's like, hey, she's a girl, just give her everything. Is she ever gonna lose? No, Zone she definitely captured. will not you lose, especially against a man. It's like, oh. <laughs> So like, if anything, you could even put the thing in where she gets her ass blown away by Kylo right away, and then you could just do the thing where he, like, that's lost. why women can't be Jedis or some bullshit like that, and then she comes back later and beats the shit out of him. And then you'd at least have this, this you know, back and forth and a reason why I'm here to beat Kylo's ass. And I also think that they missed the, the boat the with Kylo you because, again, the newest it. way to write... Uh, villains is to give him a reason why they're doing all this. Zone a like, no, he killed his dad. You should have just, at that point, he should have just been... Hey, there's no reason. I just want to be stronger. Make him a huge asshole and make him an easy character for people to hate, because then if people hate him, they root for the good guy, a.k.a. Ray. But when you make both characters likable, it's like, who are they fighting? <laughs> Snoke. Oh, okay, Snoke. And then he's dead in the first time you see him. It's like, oh, all right. Uh, who's the next person? Um, <laughs> you know? 
Zone B lost. Your enemy has a power play. You just let me know if I'm talking too much. Zone a no, you're good. Just slide shotgunners this time around. I'm sorry, what was that? Just slide shotgunners. Just oh, around. yeah. Well, that'll get nerfed too, so everyone's getting their fill in right now. Zone A lost. Power but yeah, it, think about any of your classic movies that you really liked. It was, there was a clear-cut villain, there was a clear-cut hero. Hero always struggled, and then eventually they were able to beat the villain. Alright? And lately, it's... Hollywood is just trying to overcomplicate things and be, like, super meta. It's like, oh, what if the villain actually had a reason to be a villain? And then we'll actually, like, get people to be kind of sympathetic with them. It's like, well, then it's kind of hard to root for the hero you if you're rooting for the villain. This time. Oh, but then the hero will also kind of like agree with the villain, this war is but the like territory. they just don't want to do it that One same that way. Win. It's like, all right, Fight so another. they both have the same mindset. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, all right. 